me every second, you would understand what I said was that if we were to get rid of the racism, it would absolutely dramatically impact the war on drugs because there, is, uh, there are racial implications of the war on drugs specifically. Hey, can you hear me? Cool. How you doing? Great. How you doing? Not bad. Um, so I want to talk about games. Yeah, you're an uh, MS gameplay student, so it makes sense. Yeah. Um, basically, I know this is going to sound like a meme. I don't want it to sound like a meme, but it's going to sound like it anyways. Um, I, uh, I, I'm a game designer, or cool. at least I'm trying to be. Okay. Um, I don't understand what people find fun about resource games. So, like, in a stealth game, there's, like, the conflict of, like, whether or not you get found versus whether or not you can get past what them. Is, um, explain what a resource game is real quick. Like, what I'm playing now, or...? Yeah, like Factorio or like um, any of these games where you're trying to like build out some type of larger base and optimize and optimize. Like I, I don't really quite understand the exact. I think there is like a thing that has to do in the brain with like iterative learning processes. So you do one thing, then you make it a little better, then you make it a little better, then you make it a little better, like that. That sort of like problem solving or like puzzle solving is just really fun. Oh, okay. So it's more so it is the optimization is the fun then. Yes. Got it. Got it. Cool. Um, in a com- in a little bit different, um, the game I'm working on, I have a mechanical idea that involves music, and I'm curious to kind of get your input on it. Um, basically, I'm working on like a stealth horror game, um, and I, one of the ideas I had was that each enemy had a instrument associated with it, so that uh, because the vision is so limited in the game, that the music that the in- that the enemies are playing basically allows you to figure out kind of where they are or what direction certain enemies are. Um, but I'm worried that without them all playing the exact same tune, that it's if parts of the main melody are missing, that it's going to sound kind of, uh, I don't know what the technical term is, but like discombobulated or random. Uh, I was curious if there was a way that you saw to fix that or some musical way that that makes sense. Hold on. I don't understand what you're trying to ask 100%. Sure. Sorry. Um, so I'm working on a stealth game. Yeah. Um, the vision is limited, so I want another way that the player can figure out that there are enemies nearby. Mm-hmm. So the idea was to associate music to the enemies. And by doing so, you would do specific instruments to specific enemies. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out a way where instead of just every instrument playing the same melody, that you can figure out that basically the when the when multiple instruments are together that it doesn't sound random or... Uh... Oh! What you're talking about is like a... Um, what you're talking about is like a dynamic... Um, a dynamically changing soundtrack, basically. Yes, where basically like... Have you ever say... played... Um, I don't know, I understand what you're saying. Have you ever played Zone of the Enders or Metal Gear Solid or um, Nier Automata? Any of those games? Um, actually, I haven't. <laughs> oh, shit. So yeah, I have near. I just have never actually sat down to play it. Um, unfortunately. Do you know anything about music? Uh, very briefly, I took piano for like a couple years, but I've been trying to learn more music theory, which is actually something I was going to ask you about. Was where you would go to learn more theory? Okay, I understand what you want to do, but this is going to be pretty hard if you don't have a musical background, right? Um, yes, I'm aware. <laughs> so like, this is kind of like what your goal would be. Okay, do you have my stream up? Uh, let me pull it up on something that's not my phone because I'm not on my computer. Hold on a second. Um, okay. Let me mute this. Pull it up. All right. It is up. Okay. Um, actually, I'll put D for drums. So here's what you're going to want. You're going to want to, you're going to want some, or I'll put P actually for percussion. Okay. You're going to want a percussive track that plays. This is like our time axis. Okay. You're going to want a percussion Mm -hmm. track that's always playing. Right. Yeah. And then. Maybe beneath this, you're gonna want like, uh, like I don't know what genre you're gonna say, like some kind of synth or like light strings that just give you like a chord backing, basically, right? Sure. And with these two things playing constantly, right? What you're gonna want is you're gonna want tracks made for different types of instruments that are playing mm-hmm. melodies, but you only want these melodies to be coming in and directionally coming in when the player is within the activation range of the sound. Does that make sense? So you'd have all of this music written out, 
But like this music down yes. here, none of this would actually be playing. But then let's say that after a few minutes, a player kind of gets closer to a guy or whatever, right? So you want that mm -hmm. soundtrack to come in here. And then like, let's say there's another enemy that they get closer to when they're also, you want this soundtrack, but you want all of these lines like written out completely. And then what you have basically is like a dynamic changing soundtrack, but it's all written. It's just not always playing at the same time. Does that make sense? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Um, for something that I would heavily recommend for this, uh, okay, you're gonna give me like one minute. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no problem. I guess it means it's the next game I need to research. <laughs> um, Nier Automata is, is a recent game that does this. Metal Gear Solid does this as well, but Nier is gonna be probably your best one. Okay. What are those? Okay, so you can do this research later in your own time. But if you go to, <clears throat> this is just one spot that I've picked out, but there's going to be tons of stuff. If you go to 1146 or 1147, um, add me on as a friend on Discord. If you go to 1146 or 1147, you'll hear that there's a constant sound there's like a constant kind of background playing but as they get near enemies or if they start entering attack commands or whatever or they get hit or whatever then different tracks are swapping out but it's all in time and it's all part of like a larger coherent piece okay cool mm -hmm. cool um let me just listen for a second mm -hmm. and then i'm going forward I'm gonna find an example when it like drops out. Oh. <clears throat> and then if you go to like um, later on, yeah, like 1420 is a really good example. They, it drops the vocal track out, and I think it swaps, I think the percussion and the background is something a little bit lighter, but it's all still one coherent song, and it's all in time. It's all working. And then anytime you get close or far away from enemies, the tracks will kind of like swap in to like give it more um, motion or, or give it more like a uh, movement. Um, yeah. And then it falls okay. out again. Yeah. Where does this corridor lead? Cool. Um, and uh, mm -hmm. okay. so like my piano experience is I played. I played piano for like a couple years when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Like those like old, um, they weren't like every piano store or like music store. They were the, um, I forget what they were called. They were the, like they're set of like monocolored books. They were like green and yellow and they were like, play these like uh, songs. They're like much more simple. Mm -hmm. um, I did those for a few years, but in terms of learning theory where you can figure out like chord progressions and where you can understand kind of emotions you're trying to display in the song, where would you recommend I go for that without you know, going back to like college or whatever. That Yeah, as a layman, that's going to be really, really, really hard. I feel like you should just grab a musician and like make them write for you. Musicians are <laughs> broke as fuck and you can pay them cheap anyway. Fuck them. Like, okay. Okay. Gonna be, cool. Because what you're wanting to do is something that if you have the musical background, it's pretty simple, but without it, it's going to be really, really, really difficult to get that done. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I was worried about that, but I also don't know many music guys, so. <laughs> well, <good laughs> Post somewhere and find out. They're out there. The music, if you do music, you want to get money doing it, so, yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. Um, that's about it. Um, love you. Okay. Well, good luck. I love you, buddy. Bye.